Hello you gorgeous human being, how are you doing today? It's Miss Bubbles. I'm still on my journey of finding promising, cozy and or farming games that we can look forward to. So this video builds on what is now around 100 games that we've covered on this channel. Let me know down in the comment section which games you're gonna wish list next and why you chose them. I'd love to talk to you about it. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with the first game on our list and it's called Paws and Leaves. This is a third-person story-driven title where you play as a cute fox called me. Me. Not me. They're called me. You will be with me on a journey that lets you have beautiful and joyful moments, but also some sorrowful and sad ones. So far, the trailers don't give us a full idea of what the gameplay mechanics could look like, but I assume it will have some kind of walking simulator vibe in a world that is lush and full of color. I hope we get to learn more about this one soon because I always welcome an impactful story, even if the initial impressions of the game were to be on the cozier side. The next one on the list gives me a lot of Don't Starve vibes. Now, if if you played that one you'd be like why like that one is not cozy at all but this one has a little bit of a cozy ish side so we have it here in camp canyon you are managing the summer camp of your dreams as the new head counselor now you need to make sure that your campers have a good time but you also have to keep in mind that they need to stay safe so as you hike fish and catch bugs in a utah inspired wilderness you also need to guide your troopers to safety during nighttime when things can get a little bit out of hand i love the mixture of our campers having their own personality, us being able to build the camp however we want it to be, but also adding in that sprinkle of spookiness so we can see how to be creative if we have to. On to the next one, we have Mojito the cat. How adorable is that name to begin with? Here you play as Mojito, a cat that is on the way to rescue his friend Woody who lost his way while following a food trail of some sort and suddenly vanished. So you need to guide Mojito through different levels of puzzle platforming. I I love the pop of colors in the video and the ability to interact with the environment. Now, I'm not a huge fan of puzzlers or platformers, but I feel like this one is just so cute and cozy, so I had to bring it to your attention. Now, I don't know about you, but I love cooking games and I'm always looking for the next one to play and I'm so happy that I found one. Soup Pot lets you cook over 100 recipes freely and the game aims to let you use your creativity while you enjoy beautifully stylized 3D renders of various ingredients. You get to play to your meal however you want and you have lots of interactivity options to experiment with like grilling, chopping, baking, mixing and more. If I understand things correctly, you also have a social media platform in game where the audience can leave remarks about your recipes and how good or maybe not so good of a cook you can be. I'm very excited for this one. It seems like the cooking game that I've been wanting for a while ever since I played a Cooking Simulator on Steam. And another one that is all about playing with food is called Noor play with your food. This sounds very interesting and anytime you say food, I'm definitely in. So this one seems to emphasize the physics of food with no time limits or scores to kind of hinder our experience. From what I gather, we get to play with food in a way that will remind us of childhood and we don't have to worry about cleaning up any mess. Sounds very good if you ask me. <laughs> The graphics look stunning and I love how the different stages focus on the details of each food item. I don't know what this one is about exactly or if there is a story, but the trailers look very fun if I do say so myself. The next game on our list is called Squish That Like Button. If you're enjoying this video, maybe we can try and reach 100 bubbly likes. And if you're new here, hello you. If you love everything RPG, JRPG, cozy and lifestyle games, then you are in the bubbliest place. So maybe consider squishing that subscribe button as well so I can see you next time. You know, I've been wanting to get into Otomaze for a really long time, but sadly I have the attention span of Dory, so it might not be the best idea. However, this might change. Peach Leaf Valley, Seeds of Love, a farming inspired Otome might be my way into the genre. This is a farming inspired romance novel. As the name suggests, this is a farming inspired romance novel inspired by the likes of Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, and Rune Factory. You play as this young artist who lost her job. However, life has other plans for you. So here you are in a valley full of flowers with four romanceable bachelors, each inspired by different seasons. Similar to what I hear other otomes are all about, here you do have multiple endings and different routes to choose from, but I'm mostly intrigued by where the inspiration from the farming genre comes from. So let's wait and see. Hamster Playground reminds me of the DS games about hamsters that I used to play as a child. And that really kicked in my nostalgia and watching the trailer 
are just made my heart so happy. This one seems to focus on lots of challenges that you can enjoy while competing with other hamsters and you need to figure out your way through different mazes, ride a skateboard and more with either AI hamsters or your friends playing as hamsters. The more you play, the better your hamster will get and you will also unlock different abilities. You can also look after your hamsters, build them a home and have up to 100 different cosmetic items. This just looks like cuteness overload waiting to punch us in the face so I'm very ready for that. I'm super excited for something called Espresso Tycoon. Anything that has tycoon in it intrigues me and again it reminds me of my childhood because I used to play a lot of games that had the tycoon in them and I used to adore them. And this one as you guessed it you get to run your own coffee shop and from decorating your shop, hiring employees and enjoying the 3D coffee editor to make various recipes you have a lot of missions to complete and different things to take care of. I like the realistic graphics here. Sometimes, yes, I want something that is very cartoony and vibrant in colors and whatever, but sometimes I also welcome a more realistic side of gaming. By the time you're watching this, the game is already out and I thought I should let you know about it. There's also a demo on Steam that you can try and see if this game is the one for you. Up next, we have Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley. For some reason, I kept wanting to say Moom and Berry. I don't know why, but let's get into this game. This is a musical adventure about restoring harmony and balance to Moom and Valley, not Moom and Berry. This one wants to offer adults, but also kids, a wholesome experience that combines open world mechanics with puzzles, stealth, and melodic elements. I hope I said melodic right, but I don't know. You can let me down in the comments. What? You can let me know down in the comment section. Today, my brain is just like, woo, woo, woo. I don't know what's happening but that's Miss Bubbles for you. I hope you're enjoying this. We will also have different characters to meet with their own charming quests and I like the storybook art style here. It looks wonderful and the choice of more subtle colors are also welcome. As I said, sometimes I like vibrant colors but other times I'm just like, okay, I want to chill. I want something that just looks just calm. And now we have Blue Oak Bridge. For some reason, I swear I can't say nothing today. But I found this one as I was just scrolling around in the Steam upcoming game section and I thought it looked pretty cool. Here you got to experience 2D hand-painted art and a storybook world of powerful witches, ancient magic, and royal secrets. As the player, you'll be responsible for farming, foraging, fishing, brewing potions, and meeting new friends. I appreciate the combination of the fantasy and farming genre as well as the inclusion of diversity in the farming mechanics but also the combat aspect of the game. Seems like we will have a lot of things to do and keep us busy so I'm very excited for this one. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have up to 100 upcoming cute and cozy and farming games that you can look forward to. So make sure to check my pinned comments so you can see those videos. Thank you to my bubbly patrons for making videos like this happen and a special shout out to Justin and Faye for going the extra mile. Always remember to stay bubbly, stay positive and I will see your gorgeous self in the next one. Bye!